Um, September 25th, 2020. Judy, my lunch lady, Judy, is dead. Um, she's been dead for about a year and a half. So now, in this version of 2020, where 100% of humans failed, uh, I have a question for all area shipbags. Um, when I woke up, my uncle Clifford Jr. went off to the war, or went off to the Navy, and my uncle Robert went off to, I think, the Navy. I think they went together. Neither uncle was I close with, because when I asked about alien services, um, and, like, they didn't want to talk about it, it made me feel crazy, um, then Judy had to get involved. Um, I'm born extraterrestrial. These were my utilities as humans that I had to rely on. And there was 10 kids. Only two went off to the service and they didn't want to get involved. Now, what do I do? All area stupid fucking useless human. Why is it that, uh, I think that they had some kind of National Guard class just for, uh, the helpful people that did not go off to service the first time, but National Guard was instructed that if they wanted to keep their, um, interpolation numbers up for the two children that want to interpolate when they get older which are the embodiment of time and the clock and space, uh, as ETS, the Interstate Police, I-N-T-E-R-S-T-A-T-E. -E. At that National Guard of Interstate Police, you were able to check a registry if you're, I guess, somebody special. I wouldn't even know where, the, where to call. So if you call, you can find out where you are on the phone tree system or however it works. I don't know. Judy was able to get somewhere only because I was she. I was the time. I was the clock. I was the next gen. And there was, when it was reported, it was a real fucking serious concern and problem. Based on what Mariah and Clifford Sr.'s generation did in preparation for my appearance, or what they weren't able to get to, and forget Lewis and Lynn, and forget Lewis's family, fucking forget it, like, it's like, oh, I mean, talk about fucking useless, but guess who knows this, why is it when, uh, they had a state of New York, they had a National Guard offer a weekend class, at some point, Judy said, for all of the Gunder clan, and I believe uh, Casella wanted to come in, and then that got iffy, so I don't know if they did or they didn't, um, to join forces, because they needed to get their white, num like, all white, all right, all tight numbers up in close proximity, arm's length, to the big gun, which is myself, with the big marriage for extraterrestrial reasons, since everybody had kids and their futures were going to be affected by this. They had to learn what the enemy already knew. I mean, everything except for white was joining National Guard and Armed Services in large quantities to learn and take over technology that the white kids didn't even know existed or why it was even important. And what could possibly be the big deal? Uh, it's a very big fucking deal. Because now I have things that I don't trust as the extraterrestrial with the extra special equipment that I'm in charge of at ETS. I have a system that's totally fucking broken and getting worse. Our numbers are completely off ratio. And then I've got guardsmen that are like, oh, this can't be real. Or maybe it is. Um, I don't even know how to check anymore until... Right. So here we are in year 2020 where the fucking assholes of every color, every nation, every race, every identity other than white, all right, all tight, 
and in my corner to protect me, which in essence protects their kids. Do you understand? If I don't have numbers protecting me, and I have all of these outside foreign nations in interstate finding out all of these secrets because the British, British ministry, the Italian Catholics, and a couple of good fighting whites are having problems with all of the wrong seeded crown that are not Fibonacci sequence, and nobody's doing the right thing for the children. It's just one generation. You lose your way completely, and then the enemy has gained advance on you in such large quantities, you lose your place. And then they start doing things and holding you accountable to things you didn't even know existed. In measurement systems that you didn't create, you weren't told about, you weren't watching or paying attention, but you're getting punished for. And then you're like, how do I check on that? I don't know. You tell me, well, you stupid fucking useless human. I'm sitting in a fucking parking lot in a car that's about to fucking die with no money my entire life. No fucking money, no access to money, and every fucking foreign shitbag purposely making sure that my life's journey was not to be looked at, looked into, or even made a priority or importance and just played fucking games with the entire fucking system. And now I gotta look at their fucking disgusting fucking venereal disease herpy look everywhere I fucking go in New York. I want the murdered in massive, massive fucking quantities for making it into New York City. I don't care. You want to sink all of fucking Korea and Japan into the water and all the people drowned and die? Nobody cares. And God is asking nicely once. I want Niklaus. I don't give a fucking flying shit about the assholes that keep holding my good people hostage, including myself and Alexander. We lose 100% of humans. I don't give a shit. Neither does Alexander. Neither does the entire Fibonacci sequence genetic. You are lucky that you lived this long. And if you don't start working in the right fucking quantities and the right fucking groups for the right fucking reason, what comes next? I don't know what's left. <laughs>